For anyone traveling along the Bloor Viaduct, either here on the surface or on the subway underneath, there's a bit of a mystery in the valley down below. Have a look and you'll see a giant hole in the ground. As it turns out, it's one of the largest underground infrastructure projects in the country. Yeah, let's see what they're, uh, they're talking about. At 20 meters wide and 55 meters deep, you might think a meteor plummeted into the Don Valley, creating a giant chasm. But no, it's man-made, the start of something massive below the city. This first leg of the system, which we call the Don River and Central Waterfront Project, the first leg is called the Coxwell Tunnel, consists of a 10 and a half kilometer tunnel, uh, 6.4 meters in diameter when it's finished, and it also includes five large storage shafts. This is one of the stormwater storage shafts being built, not far from the Don River. Rocks and dirt being dug out from the bottom and lifted out in huge bins. That's just the beginning. In total, 22 kilometers of tunnels are being constructed along Toronto's waterways. They're to keep sewage and storm water from overflowing into the Don River, Taylor Massey Creek, and Inner Harbor. We talk about all the time some of this sewage water making its way into the lake. How does this prevent that? What we will be doing is, is connecting up the existing outfalls to this deep tunnel system. Nearly a quarter of the city's sewer system, much of which was built more than a century ago, has combined sewers, in which there is only one pipe that carries both sewage and storm water. When it rains, those sewers carry a mixture of sewage as well as storm water. So the Don River, as well as the Inner Harbour, have had a long history of water pollution problems. The new tunnels and tanks are expected to carry more than 700,000 cubic meters of overflow, but not before a lot more digging for many years to come. The first phase of this project is expected to last until 2024. The next phases, of course, are dependent on funding. As it happens, at the last city council meeting, a request was made of the province and the federal government for an additional one billion dollars that's in order to move the project along and to speed it up now we're going to keep following this project but it's certainly not the only mystery work being done around the city if you spot a project in your neighborhood and you're curious about it we want to hear from you you can always send us an email call us send us a message on our website or on social media